we just thought it might be a good idea like instead of going out to party and like risking covid and like spending a bunch of money on beer to just spend that money on like buying some you know like dollar menu burgers and some like bottles of water some hot hands and some like halloween candy and just like putting them in bags and giving them out to homeless people yeah, that's just the... that's seriously how it is yeah <laughs> you can't give out sandwiches to homeless people without getting a loitering ticket all right guys it's boris and this is ken and what we're doing today it's the night before halloween and we thought it would be a good idea it's getting really cold up here in upstate new york so we thought it would be a good idea to hand out some kind of like uh, like little Halloween care packages, like candy and uh, hot hands and water and uh, a Burger King sandwich to some homeless folks. So what kind of motivated this, I kind of got the idea randomly, was uh, the dean of my PA program sent out an email today about like partying and COVID-19 and stuff. Because obviously, like if somebody gets COVID-19, they have to get quarantined and that's going to throw off your whole rotations. And then like people at the rotation site might get sick and might have to quarantine and miss work and like it's just a big mess so basically what they told us is like avoid bars avoid crowds avoid partying you know big costume parties and stuff that we normally like to do on halloween they said avoid that and so i was thinking like okay what's something you could do when you know you're used to going to a party you're used to going to do something and now you can't well how about doing something good so we're going to do something good so anyway, so we just stopped by uh, Walgreens. We got a big pack of water. We got some bags, we got some hot hands. If you're not from the Northern Hemisphere, hot hands are basically these things that have a chemical reaction. You put them in your glove and they warm your hand. They're like, they're exothermic. So, you know, if you're standing outside all day, if you are if you don't have anywhere to go, you know, your hands probably get cold. So it's a hot hand, it helps you out with that. So we got them that, some water, a big thing of candy because it is Halloween after all and we're gonna get some uh, Burger King sandwiches just to give them each a sandwich. So anyway, we're gonna go do that. We're gonna hand it out. Uh, we might film some of it. I'm, I'm obviously gonna blur out the faces just to keep everyone's anonymity. And yeah, so we're just gonna do that. So it's not gonna be, th it's gonna be this right up here, right? Yeah. Got it. And so one other thing that kind of motivated this is Ken told me a little while ago, he actually spent a little time uh, being homeless and he was telling me like the struggles that a lot of people have and like how difficult it is. And so that kind of motivated us to do this too. And so he's actually gonna talk just a little bit about his experience. It's rolling. You know, you just have to think sometimes that some, most of those people are not just there for the reasons that you think they are. You know, like- What do you me, mean? Like me specifically, like my life was fine. I worked hard to get to where I was and just something happened that really took my mind out of my head and I went downhill yeah. you know and, and it took something like that and a place like that to really catch me and then people giving like this to remind me of how life was how life really is you mean even like a bottle of water and like some candy yeah, like anything. it made a difference because because sometimes life brings you so far down that like you get back to where you need to be and you didn't realize how much you missed the fact that you could walk up to the sink and pour yourself a glass of water because you didn't even have that no didn't have the nothing. shelter oh, nothing man. nothing at all I, I went from my life being great to you know in the shelter yeah and it just you meet a lot of it hold on bud stop you just meet a lot of people that are in there not because of drugs or alcohol or being criminals or just getting out of jail they are there but just sometimes you just people don't really think i think when it comes to yeah. realizing that they're all not they're not they're not all criminals so just like when you are like crappy about the bills losing the super bowl <laughs> or or you know you had a crappy day at work and you just need that someone in your life say hey man everything's gonna be okay they need that too yeah they definitely need that too yeah for sure well that's what we're gonna do today thank you for sharing that we're yeah. gonna talk a little bit more maybe about ken's story but right now we're at burger king there's my face uh we're gonna pick up some sandwiches by the way that's declan that's ken's son say hi declan hi declan okay fair <laughs> enough uh so we're gonna pick up some sandwiches to hand out and uh yeah we'll be with you in just a minute so we're driving over to the shelter we got the sandwiches from burger king uh, so I guess there's two shelters in this city, at least that's what Ken tells major me, shelters, yeah. two like major shelters. There's a smaller one and a bigger one. Uh, we're going to go to the smaller one. So like, what's the difference between the two shelters? 
It's it's how it's run. I mean, both of them are subsidized by like the government, obviously. Yeah, yeah of course. But like, say say the one we're going to, the Catholic Charity Shelter, it's governed. It's the the Catholic Charities is subsidized by the government. Catholic Charities runs it. Now right. they also have different rules. So like, the the other shelter here that we're not visiting today. It's more run with stricter rules. They have you out at eight o'clock in the morning. You have to be back at five o'clock to make oh, sure okay. you don't lose your bed. Yeah. Um, more security, more stuff like that. But then again, you don't really have, the, you kind of lose your freedoms. But then again, the one we're going to, you can come in and out as you please. Um, they they kind of base their values on like a Christian value system, like you know, Catholic charities. Yeah. And so things are a little bit more That's lenient. Right. And then, you know, you know how you, so it's like up and down. It depends on what you want to do. No matter what, it's good and bad at the same time. So also there's a lot of all other small shelters in the area, but it seems like like halfway houses and yeah. women's shelters and domestic violence shelters, but it kind of like you have to, you have to go to Department of Social Services and then they give you your paperwork and, and you get yourself into the system and then you take that paperwork to one of the major shelters in the area. And eventually, once the social worker there gets to know you, and then they pass you along and pass you along, and eventually you get to somewhere that's a little bit more catered for you. Okay. Um, the only difference would be is if you're a woman with child. So. And it's like a specific kind of shelter for uh, that kind yeah, of you a get, person. Yeah, you get pushed right into a woman's or a family shelter right away. Oh, um, I got you. There's really not much help for men and child here, unfortunately, but that's a New York State thing. Hmm. Um, is it better in other states? I've heard of other states. Okay, left um, or right? Left, go like caddy corner left. Gotcha. Um, I've heard of other states, like, okay, so down south. Down south in Florida, um, Alabama, Georgia, it's more like a system where, like, churches, churches build shelters, mm -hmm. and then what they do is they run it by themselves and then do, do a tax cut or whatever, or maybe. Okay. Um, then... They kind of govern it on themselves. Um, I've also heard that you have to be part of the congregation. They're a little bit more like, a, 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 like a, almost like a vacation. Oh. But they really put a lot of attention into you and your family and stuff like that. And they have family getaways there. So when here, there's here in New York, it's the mental health system and the homeless system is horrible. It really, really? is. Um, but then on, on another thing is that like if you're homeless in Florida, mm -hmm. if you're homeless in Florida, like you kind of like it's not legal. I mean, it's not illegal to be homeless. So technically, if you're living on property with your tent, that's not illegal for you to live on, and you have children and a husband with you or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. and you have food and water and everything inside your tent, they won't remove you. They won't tell you, hey, you have to go to a shelter. So I think that's wrong. But is that like specific like areas that you're allowed to be like you're allowed to put your tent or like how does that work right it has to be probably specific Definitely areas i don't stuff. think i don't think you can like put your tent like in a school back lot or something you know that's, that's kind of okay but i mean like um yeah but it's, it's not illegal to be homeless and i just find the fact of that really weird where like people can get to the point that they're, them and their children are literally homeless and the, all the options that they have is literally here's a tent and good luck um, you know I, I get, at least in New York you'll get placed somehow with children children is definitely they, they care a lot about the children here in New York State but that's good the single people it's not really that great hmm. so it sounds like I mean based on your situation whether you're male female whether you have kids or not like maybe some states laws are better for you so maybe that's kind of how people end up migrating like and living in certain states definitely that's true definitely. i hear i hear out west i mean you may know more about that than i do you were closer to california than i've ever been uh, I, I hear in california it's like it's like a homeless haven left yes yeah yeah i've definitely heard that especially lately there's been a lot of talk about that so new york on one end it's um it's a detriment to be here, especially with the colder weather and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. Um, on another end, it it can be a good system. 
and like I mean the whole homeless sensitive conversation. crisis is just so <laughs> like multifaceted like no one no two people are the same and no two states are the right, same right. and it's right, like I, I got you and uh yeah I mean so I don't really want to like generalize or get into it too much oh it looks like a full moon or almost a full moon but anyway so the point is for today and for all of y'all watching um I guess we just want to like try to you know spend our friday night that would normally be like because it, it's uh it's not valentine's weekend what the heck is it uh i'm gonna cut this out halloween. halloween yeah it's like a friday night and halloween weekend like you know i guess you should be out drinking or out having fun or whatever well okay it's covid so it's kind of irresponsible to do that especially in like big groups and so we thought okay what do you do with your time and the money you were going to spend on like beer anyway well go freaking buy some sandwiches some hot hands and some water and like uh and you know make somebody's day who could use it so i guess that's just what we're doing and what i'm really hoping to just maybe motivate even like one person out there to do so just go do it just you know the corner. so anyway we're here we're here so yeah. this looks like it's a one way can we go here uh go up here and pull into the driveway over here yeah. all right so we're actually going to get this going i'm going to shut the camera off and I guess we're just gonna park and me and Ken are just gonna hand stuff out and we'll see if we can catch any of it on video. If we can't, like, I'll try. I'll try my best. So anyway, let's uh, let's do this. Yeah. All right, so camera's rolling. I don't know how much you guys can see or hear, but the way we're gonna do this, I'm just gonna take a bag. Declan's gonna give me a bag of the uh, hot hands on the water and we're just gonna hand some stuff out, all right? So I think we're rolling. Let's do this. Declan, give me a bag, please. Just keep them coming, keep them coming. There you go, there's a sandwich, there's a bag. Keep them coming, Jacqueline, come on. Keep them coming. Come on, keep them going. Right over here, guys. There you go, man. Thank you. I can't. Yeah, well, it's Halloween, just a little candy. Yo, right over here. Can we, like, back up a little bit? Just so we can be over here. There you go, man. Sandwich, water, hot hands, a little candy, all right? <laughs> Thank you, Jacqueline. You're doing a great job, dude. Thank you. There you go, man. Some water, sandwich. A blunt's candy. open. You got it, dude. One's open. It's okay if it's open. I mean, yeah, close it. Thank you. Good. Good job. Oh, that's long line. Maybe I should stop saying hot hands because not all of them have one. Yeah. There you go, dude. Sandwich, water, candy, some Halloween stuff. You got it, dude. There you go. Why does this one like here? Sandwich, water, some candy. There you go, dude. Some candy, some water, sandwich. All right. Have a good night, okay? You're welcome. Is there any more people? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Is there anybody else? You got, if somebody wants to let somebody inside, no. We got more. Yeah, we got a few more, man. We got a few more? Yeah, we got a decent amount. Another bag, please. Thank you. I got one right here, man. Oh, you got it, man. A sandwich, some water, some candy, all right? Happy Halloween. Hopefully you get transferred. Yeah. Yeah, just one, bud. Just one. Just one. Just, just one. one, bud. That's all we need. Go, man. Some water, some candy, a sandwich for you. You got it, dude. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. It's a whole endless cycle of, of, of referrals, wait, referrals, wait, referrals, wait. Yeah. I mean, what do you do in the meantime? Right. Yeah, you just, get like, yourself back on your feet. You on the street? No. Get, go, go to the library. Get on a computer. Find a job. Oh, I go got out you. there. Make money oh, when you can. Thanks, get your head straight. You know, try to get clean for some of these people. Are trying to get their own shit. Work yeah. on yourself. I mean. Nobody else coming out. All right. Yeah. All right, Zach Lynn. You ready to work? Come on. Come on. We need another bag. Come on. We need like three, yeah. four more. Come on, Declan. I'm trying to. Work fast, buddy. Good job. There you go, man. Have Sandwich, some uh, water, some candy. What's up? Nobody else in there? Very good. Everybody. Oh, they're good. All right. Good, good, good. So you don't leave another bag, right? <laughs> another one? What is that? Three for you? Yeah, I'm hungry. You're putting in some work. Come here. There you go, man. There you go. Yeah, yeah, Let's get another burger out here. Let's get another burger. Let's get another burger. There you go. Of course, of course. All right, Doc. Can we get one more for the gentleman that helped us out, huh? Thank you. Hey, of course. I'm going to wait for Sure, you need something to eat. There you go. Yeah. All right, man. Have a good night, okay? All right, guys. We're going to move. Anyway, so we handed out maybe like 20. Maybe 15, like not a whole lot of people came out. There's a hole here. Yeah, I see it, it's okay. So anyway, so I guess we're gonna go Make to an, another location. Not another shelter, but like another place where people might be up on the street or something. 
um, and just kind of give away the the rest of the food that we got. So anyway, that's the plan for now. Make a left. Okay. So I guess the plan now is we're gonna go somewhere else where some folks hang out and we're just gonna give away the rest of this food. Oh, what's going on? Okay. So, I mean, everybody, uh, everyone that came out was like really nice and they were really like grateful. They just said, oh, thank you. Um, I don't really, really, really nothing to fear. No, it's, I'm not really saying that I was necessarily afraid of anything, but like, you know, I haven't spent a whole lot of time around homeless people. I don't know how they act or it, not like they're all the same or anything, obviously, but like everyone was just super nice. Um, everyone was fine. I did of course notice literally what 95% were black. There was yeah. one white dude or two, two, maybe two white dudes. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that was really freaking sad. Just, it's messed up. I mean, it makes you sad, but I don't know. Like, what can we do? Not much. No. Uh, so, I mean, like, even what we're doing now hopefully does, like, something. Maybe not in the grand scheme of things, but, like, just for today. Um, I mean, we could have made someone's night. Yeah. And then tomorrow morning they wake up and they find motivation to do something right. You know, somebody kicks a habit tomorrow out of those 20 burgers that we just gave out. Yeah. Okay, specifically my situation. I don't want to get into too, too deep of it, but of course. I put something happened to me, and I put I got into a situation, and you know, I was down, and it, and it took the kindness of others to remind me. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, it could turn someone, it could turn everything around for someone tonight. You know, I that's, hope so. That's, what, that's all you can hope for. That's why people give. I hope so. And I mean, even if it's not like a big grand like event that is just going to turn things around like maybe i don't know maybe it'll have some impact beyond just like giving them a meal for the night which is a good thing in itself is it like that down that way <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep so i mean when you were in the shelter like did people do this every night every couple nights once a week every, at least every other night sometimes really a couple nights in a row yeah I mean, me, I was, I was, I mean, I never noticed it right away. I was focused on my own things. And yeah, you were working while you were, yeah, while you were staying like, there. So I guess we're pulling up to the other shelter, the other local shelter that's a much, little bigger, much bigger, yeah. much bigger. We only have like a few bags left, but uh, I mean, whatever. Let's give them out. And like Ken said, like I was telling him, I feel bad, like if we run out because we will. But he said, like a lot of times people just put up, like pull up, and they'll just give what they can. And like I mean, people are understanding, you know. So, who are you talking to? I'm talking to the camera, Declan. <laughs> We're gonna try to inspire some other people to do some stuff that'll help some other people. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah. Just trying not to run over that dude. Quick, we'll quick right into the parking lot. Oh, right over here. Yeah. That is a big shelter. Actually, go ahead, next go one. over here, and then make a right. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of people outside because I mean, this That's shelter cold. here. No, oh, this shelter here, they, they demand people to be inside. Oh, yeah, true. By like, what, like 8 o'clock or something? Right, you have to be here for a while for them to even let you out. Is that this right here? Yeah, so we're just, well, let's just hang out. Let's just hang out outside of here and just get rid of the rest of the cheeseburger. There's a couple people right there. Yeah. I mean, we don't have that much Go left. Go down a little bit more. Uh-huh. Well, they're, they're doing their own thing, but people usually hang out like right here. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Trevor, you got your mask? Yeah, I got on my head. All right. All right. Let's give away the rest of this food. What do you mean, why? Why are we, gonna... why are we giving away food? Yeah. Because people need it. Is it open? Want a burger, some water, some candy in there for you? Oh. Great. Okay. Halloween and it's a full moon. You gotta get some stuff out, alright? Sandwich, some water, some candy for you. Happy Halloween, man. Happy Thank Halloween. You. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I got three. He has one bag. Oh, he's got a bag? You have to want to grab it right off, man. Yeah, we got four left. Yeah. Some water, some candy, man. Some, uh, Thank you. some burger for you. Thank Here, Declan, let me have that bag. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Some burger, Thanks. candy, Thank some water for you. Thank you. For you. Candy. Happy Halloween. Some water. We got nothing. We got nothing now. Dude, you actually get the last two burgers. Two burgers. A bottle of water or something. <laughs> Here's a couple burgers for you by the water. Right? Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. All right. Have a good night. Right. I'm not buckled that's up, it. so I'm getting buckled up. We're done. I'm getting buckled up. Uh, that's a wrap. Keep all done.
Wait, so we are all out, ma'am. I'm so sorry. This is what I freaking hated. Like, I knew we were gonna run out, and now like some people are getting food. You did what you could, man. Yeah, I know. It's just it's weird. But there's a lot of people in there who obviously didn't get anything, but. Huh? I got you. All right, we're done. So we gave out all the food. Uh, Ken was telling me something interesting. There was actually a cop. There was a policeman parked like 500 feet away from the shelter and it looked like he was watching us and Ken told me you can actually get a ticket for handing out food to the homeless. Loitering. That, they call it loitering? No, we, 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 we would get a ticket for loitering. We could have got a ticket for loitering for handing out food to the homeless. Have you ever seen that happen? Yep. Seriously? Yep. What? What is their justification? I mean, there's tons, there's tons of videos and YouTube videos and documentaries where in that, whether in those documentaries, even in other states, where like they're getting shut down. People will set up tables in, in like yeah. downtown, and the cops will come by and just tell them, like, "Oh, I'm sorry, but you can't do this." You know, Why? City like, laws and stuff like that. What do they think is going to happen? You're going to poison them or something? Even though we're giving out stuff for free, it's still considered to them and to the state and to the city government as we're um, selling something or we're. We're giving just I don't know the specific word for it, but That's pedaling, pedaling, okay, whatever it is. So that sounds really dumb, man. Yeah, I mean that's just the, that's seriously how it is. Yeah, <laughs> you can't give out sandwiches to homeless people without getting a loitering ticket. Yep. I mean we just did, and we didn't get a ticket because the guy was just like yeah, not paying probably, attention, yeah. or he was like, hey, they're doing something you know good, so let's not give him a freaking ticket. I mean, I, I, maybe, it's, maybe it's maybe it's a different kind of time of year. That, and what's going on right now? People I are guess. like, oh, COVID's going on. You know, let's, let's do like as much. They're doing good. Let's leave them alone. You know. Yeah, that might be the most ridiculous thing I ever heard of. I've never heard that you can get a ticket for that. Oh, just YouTube it next time you're sitting down. And you feel like watching the stupid video. Oh, I believe you. I'm definitely of, gonna of geek out on that. Of people like literally setting up tables of, of food to feed the homeless and yeah, to yeah. feed families uh -huh. and then the cops coming by taking everything off the tables and <laughs> and attempting to remove them oh and give God. them tickets well they verbally fight it a little bit but you know some of them even get arrested for Why giving food to homeless people resisting or whatever they oh, oh resisting arrest yeah, yeah. Okay. the cops tell you to do something you're like wow. no and then they're like do it and you're like no and you're like do it and i mean like, you you shouldn't do that that's just a stupid no, thing to I mean, do but it is really dumb that you can get it if you're wrong or right the cops walk up to you and tell you to do something you just do it. yeah exactly just, just do it like i don't care how mean they Facebook are just argue later. yeah don't put yourself in a situation where that you don't want to be in just if a cop tells you to do, do something just do it oh i know where we are Okay, cool. Yeah, I got it. Um, but anyway, yeah, thanks for coming with me and like showing me where to go and stuff. Dude, I've always been like that. Somebody says, hey man, you want to give out to people? I'm like, yep. And yeah. I've always been that way. So anytime, you know, you just, all you got to do is come me a text and I'm, I'm there. Let's well, this was definitely officially my charity budget for the month, but maybe next <laughs> month. You know, yeah. I don't really get all that much. Um, Even the, if you hear it, it's something like where you work. Like, hey, we're all going to go out and call me up. I know a guy. Yeah, and I'll be there for sure. But anyway, we're gonna get on the highway. It might get kind of noisy, but anyway. So I don't know if I already said this. It's been kind of a whirlwind, like trying to do this thing and plan this thing. But anyway, so we just thought that it might be a good idea, since uh, let's not get hit by a car. Yeah. Um, we just thought it might be a good idea, like instead of going out to party and like risking COVID and like spending a bunch of money on beer to just spend that money on like buying some, you know, like dollar menu burgers and some like bottles of water, some hot hands and some like Halloween candy and just like putting them in bags and giving them out to homeless people. It feels way better. It, it does feel way better to be honest with you. And like, you don't get a hangover. And it's just, I don't know. So like, we just felt like doing that. And I would like to encourage anybody still watching this to just like go do that. You know, this is the night before Halloween. Tomorrow is officially Halloween. Like, go do that instead of going to a Halloween party. Or, you know, it's 7 o'clock right now. Go do that before a Halloween party. And then, I don't know, you got something to talk about at your party. Or you feel good about doing something before you go party. Like, whatever. Just go do good stuff. The end. Ken, you got any last words on this? The universe is universal future, baby. So, that was somewhat very 
quiet, humble wisdom. I don't know if the camera picked it up on the highway at 60 miles an hour. Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna ask you to yell that into the camera. If you do good for the universe, the universe will treat you better. If you do good for the universe, the universe will treat you better. Sounds like a, like a hillbilly's version of karma. Almost tree hugging. Almost tree hugging? <laughs> yeah. I, I thought you were from New York. I thought you weren't from like Oregon. Yeah, from New York. He's from New York, but he acts like he's from Oregon. No offense to the people from Oregon. You're very fine people. I love you all. All right, guys. Um, I'm signing off. Go do good stuff.